Well, hello, and welcome to Short Flicks, the only program that brings you the best in student film from the University of Central Florida. Today we're nurturing three brave short films. November Guest, a heartfelt fable of life, death, and happiness by Danny Deneau. The Opera of Johnny Goodboy, a musical parody by Diego Kotorowski. But first, Capture, a thrilling comedy from Christy Rubenstein. Enjoy. I will tell you a tale This tale is even better than the creation of the universe It will make you explode with orgasms And now, if you haven't fainted from its greatness already Here is the tale So I'm in love with the girl who lives next door She's very pretty and nice She always says hello to me when we are getting our mail at the same time And sometimes she doesn't, but that's okay Because I want her to have a lot of sex with me And then children will come But I don't think she'll go out with me Because I'm too shy to ask her out Also I'm unemployed And people tell me I'm annoying And sometimes I get Out of bed And I don't feel Like taking a shower For those Reasons and more I can never be with this Chick I'm the prettiest girl in all the land My face could launch infinity ships Of course I don't think I'm that pretty But I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm so pretty Even though I think I'm just average My voice is like an angel And I play sports sometimes so I'm not stuck up Also I have two neighbors who live on our Sits out of me. If you think about it, it's kind of sad that I live in a world 
where no one is as awesome as me. My acute sense of perception is only put to shame by my immense modesty. Other people have ugly hair, but I have flowing locks. Other people have stupid clothes, but I have silken socks. I'm as strong as the Titanic and as smart as Ken Jennings. I have the wisdom of a statue and the determination of a lemming. But most of all, my greatest strength is I'm a stallion with the ladies. Why? If love making skills were automobiles, girls, you're looking at a Mercedes. <laughs> this one will do. I'm standing here brooding When I first asked you to move in I never dreamt it would be like this I thought we would stay up all night Playing video games Only leaving the house to go to our jobs What the is your problem? My problem is this, when you run out of toilet paper you put another roll in. It's really a very simple task. If it's so simple, do it yourself. Is something wrong? Yes, yeah, something's very wrong. I'm in love with the little thing next door. But I can't bring myself to ask her out on a hot date. Why, you just need someone to boost your confidence Fix your hair all nice with a fancy suit Get your car shiny with a rooster boot You'll be the greatest date she ever had You'll probably get laid if you get her drunk Will you be this guy? Will you help me become the greatest date of all? No Yourself, I just wanted to come out and bitch at you Then go back into my room and play video games All night You can't talk to me like that I'm gonna call her up right now I'll show you I'll show everyone but I have the to do it. Hello, hello, who could it be? I'm picking up the phone. Such possibilities. Hi, it's me. I live next door to you. My name is Johnny Goodboy. And I would like to take you on a date. We'll go swimming and skating and jogging and running. We'll feed ducks in the park and go to a fancy restaurant and eat duck el orange and never see the irony of it. Oh, how romantic a date of fun and laughter, but No! The fates! Yes, it's true, we have a hot day tonight And Betsy Goodgirl will cook me dinner in her apartment While I watch things on her TV And you don't have a date Because you're such a loser Smoked ham and goose liver pate. It took you three hours to cook this.
I cannot go on like this anymore Betsy I love you Betsy I love you If I am forced to live without you I really just don't see the point But how can you possibly love me? You don't know anything about me I know a few things about you for example I know that you're nice and pretty She's not that pretty See I find Johnny bad boy to be quite a sandal be quite an asshole, but that to me is more attractive than your desperation. I see I may have made a huge mistake I might have gotten to like you if I had known anything about you maybe I agree We could have rented all our favorite shows on DVD and watched marathons of them And I could have cooked for you my ham and you Watch me try on dresses And I could have introduced you To my friends from where I used to work Well, I really don't want to meet them But now you're dead And so I must drink this poison Probably love you, maybe And I My, but what a stunning turn of events I'll just take this opportunity to point out how bad I am. I... A nice clean suicide this was the greatest tale ever Now go and never return And beware of the folly of romance A game I shall never play
What are you doing? Take it a break, young man. A break from what? A break from waiting. Waiting? What are you waiting for? Where'd you, where'd you come from? I live up there with my mom and dad. Where'd you come from? Well, I just wondered if you'd be a good lad and, and, and kind of kind of push me off the bank here. Oh yeah, sure. Oh, great. One, two, three. <laughs> What's your name, son? Christopher. And what brings you down to the river on this fine day, young Christopher? I'm trying to learn how to swim. Really? Isn't, isn't it hard learning to swim in such shallow water? Yeah, but it's safe here. I know it won't drown or anything. It doesn't get deep until down the river. Have you at least tried the deep part? You, you, you won't learn until you at least try. You know, I was about your age when I first started coming to this river. We only moved here a few weeks ago. My mom says there are two kids named Katie and David that play in the river down past the deep part. So I've been learning how to swim so I could go and play too and not look stupid. I used to be a terrible swimmer. When I was about your age, I, 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 I met the girl of my dreams on this river. and <laughs> The first time I ever tried to swim... To her place, I, I almost drowned. But it was worth it when I got there. There's no girl in the world I would risk drowning for. You will. We were, we were married on this river. Wait, you were married in the river? <laughs> Not in the river. There's a, there's a little landing dock up upriver. Or at least I think it is. Oh. I, I hope I didn't fall asleep and, 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 and drift by it. Well, thanks for pushing me. I haven't moved this quickly for days. Days? How long have you been in here? I'm not sure. I've lost, I've lost track of time. What have you been doing out here for so long? I already told you. Oh, yeah. Waiting. Waiting for what? My wife. Oh, really? Where? She, uh... She passed away five years ago. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, but I... I didn't come here to spread my sorrow. I came here to see her again. That's why I've been drifting in this... this boat. I'm... <laughs> taking it to the next life. You're going to die in here? Yeah. Aren't you afraid? Well, I was before I got to the river, but ever ever since I've been here, I've 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 kind of felt her down here with me, and I I feel she's going to help me pass. I it's kind of a a, a warm feeling that I, I I haven't felt in in a long time. <laughs> Plus, uh, I've made a new friend. Oh. oh, it's it's her. It's Katie. Oh, Katie, I love you. I love you.
Well, that brings us to the end of our show. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Short Flicks, the only program that brings you the best in student film from the University of Central Florida. We'll see you next time, right here on Short Flicks.